Hello and welcome back to Viking Conquest and our Iron Man Challenge. Now, when we left off, I was doing a whole bunch of tournaments and, well, I have switched things up a little bit in this episode. We're going to be roaming around a little bit more. I am actually in Ireland at the moment because someone told me that it would be a good idea to try and see if I can find the sword that I'm actually looking for over there. And it's actually worked. I did actually find the sword that I was looking for. This is it. This is it right here. It is actually much better than I anticipated. I was not expecting such a good sword. I really wasn't. This is really, really good. And while the speed is not going to be amazing, bear that in mind, it's probably not going to be absolutely great until my weapon proficiency starts increasing a little bit more. But... The reach, the weapon reach on this thing is just insane. Now, you may notice something as well. You may notice that my money situation has taken a bit of a nosedive. There's a reason for that as well. The sword in particular that I am currently using cost me 8,000 cash. Yeah, a little bit harsh, a little bit harsh, but it was very much necessary, very much necessary, because here it is, look at this thing. It is a heavy longsword, and it has 35 cutting damage, perfect for me. 85 speed rating is a little bit on the slow side for my liking, but the main reason why I wanted to get this is for mounted combat. So whenever I can, I'm going to increase my riding skill if I don't have any right now, and then we're going to try and acquire a horse of some kind in the near future so this is where we currently are this is uh, i actually managed to purchase the sword in dublin itself and uh, i think oh there is actually a tournament going on here i did not realize that i really didn't <laughs> wow that's actually kind of crazy yeah anyway as you can see right here this doesn't have anything for us but i have been running around trying to buy as much wool as possible so that I can take this wool over to Scandinavian territory and sell it for a tidy profit. And I'm hopeful that we'll be able to do that and continue to do that. So I've been going to the various villages in the area and seeing what I can do about that. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to see if I can maybe... Uh, I don't even have riding one. Yeah, as you can see, I literally don't even have one in riding skill. So that's pretty awful, but... Can't really say anything about it. Can't really do anything about it. So uh, I'm actually thinking of buying this after we win the tournament. Because you can see here the size is fantastic. It's got 85 size, which is, I think, the largest shield that I have so far seen. So I would like to buy this if at all possible, if I am victorious in the competition. Now, bear in mind that I'm not going to be showing the first few rounds here because I've already shown a whole, bun a whole bunch of tournaments. And I'll see you at tier 5, I think. Ooh, there we go. All right, so that's the end of this particular round. And as you can see, we are now at tier 5. Let's see what we can do here. So two teams with one fighter each. So it's basically a one versus one. I have some thrown weapons. I'm pretty happy with thrown weapons, actually, in this series. Kind of surprising. I would not have expected myself to actually be that good with them. But as you can see, boom, and he's dead. Oh, yes, so much damage from the throne weapons and I can destroy shields in two throne weapon uses which is just insane because then I'm able to basically do whatever I want from that point onward as long as I have enough projectiles I should be able to win basically any engagement as long as they don't get within melee range of course all right here we go okay so I have an axe uh where's the enemy oh there he is all right, he's got a sword. Uh, that's probably going to spell a little bit of trouble for us. But not too bad, because he's going to be a little bit slower than us to swing. There we go. Oh, that was that was very easy. Very easy indeed. I'm happy with this. All right, so there you go. We were actually able to do that. Now we can go into the weaponsmith and actually buy this shield, which I very much need. <laughs> this is going to make so much difference. Unfortunately, it is heavy equipment, so we are going to suffer some penalties for some skills here. And, and uh, I, 
Yeah, I think that's actually going to reduce our athletic skill by a pretty considerable margin right here. I actually did advance to level three as well, as you can see right here, as well as our power throw skill going down. Our weapon master, uh, not our weapon master, our athletic skill has also gone down because I think I had six in athletics and now I have only five, but that is still actually a pretty decent amount. So I don't think I really mind too much about that. So I'm actually thinking that we will start specking into riding skill so that I can actually start, you know, riding a horse at some point in the near future. So I think I'm going to do that, going to spec two into riding skill. I think generally getting as much riding skill as I possibly can is going to help us so much going forward. All right, so let's go to the nearby town here. Oh, there's actually some thieves over there as well. Anyway, let's have a look. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything there for us. Now, that's basically what I've been doing over in Ireland. I've basically just been going to the various villages, buying the wool, as you can see right here, whenever it is available, and then just moving on and going to the next one and so on and so forth. And that has actually done quite well for us because you can literally buy wool for nothing. You can literally buy food for nothing, as you can see right here. You can buy it for 31, which is really nothing at all. And then you have... Uh, an additional morale booster if if it is required you know obviously some most of the time at least with the small small uh, small armies that we have right now they're really not going to have that many difficulties with morale at all but it's so so nice to be able to run around and have a a nice little purpose basically because obviously usually if you're going to be running around in a mod of some kind you're not really going to be doing both things you're usually i mean if you're if, if you're efficient then yeah you're going to be doing both things where you're going to be running around trying to whoa these guys might be a bit too difficult for my army but i i don't know i've got spearmen i, I mean i've got spearmen maybe maybe they'll maybe they'll be able to do something i'm actually hoping on getting brunhild some equipment she only has nine strength though so she might be a little bit difficult to kit out but uh, these guys are going to want to attack me yes they are thankfully we're actually faster than them i'm really surprised about that but uh yeah anyway seems like there's another village over there i think once i am done taking a look at the various villages in the area and i'm also going to be doing some more fighting as well actually should i go and recruit mm, that's also an issue Recruiting in Viking Conquest, obviously, as you've seen in previous episodes, you need to speak to the village elder, then you need to ask permission to recruit units from there, and so on and so forth. So that is kind of harsh. That's kind of expensive. You know, it costs 500 to get that guy on your side to be able to recruit units, which is pretty tough, in my opinion. But anyway, let's, let's fight these guys and uh, try and utilize our sword a little bit better. And look at my shield. It's so so good right now it is really really good in comparison to what i had before which was nothing <laughs> uh yes not having anything versus having something is definitely going to beat it so anyway we have some spearmen so these guys are going to absolutely murder basically anything these these ones right here they are literally going to murder anything they're not actually that good i actually thought that they were kitted out in chain mail but it looks as though they just have a slightly better version of the cloth armor that I'm wearing. So that's a little bit disappointing, but I guess that's just how it is. You know, once they advance in, uh, in level and, and hopefully get upgraded to uh, veterans, then they will have chain mail available to them, which is going to be really nice. But you can see here just how much damage I'm actually able to do with this sword and it's got so much reach that I can almost almost outreach spears well hmm, that's never really going to happen but you know what I mean if you if you're actually moving forward and you have the the momentum behind you and your opponent isn't necessarily ready to strike you just yet with their spear you might very well get a nice little hit in just before they're ready to attack so that's 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 quite nice but otherwise what do we have here farmers hmm, they can actually become units that level up so that's pretty nice and uh, we have some nice gear here for Brunhild hopefully it's going to be slightly better than what she currently has as you can see here that she has oh the veil is actually the exact same she doesn't have any shoes 
wow, her dress is actually remarkably good. As you can see, it's got 20 body armor, 20 leg armor. That is actually better than what I am wearing. Can you, can you imagine that? That's kind of crazy, isn't it? Yeah, that is pretty crazy. Oh, well, there you go. I guess she's, she's absolutely fine. I don't think I need to worry about her at all. But anyway, let's move on. Uh, I'm actually hoping that I will be able to... Ooh, hello. Okay, that would have been... That would have been messy, as you can see. A ship captain. Oh, this village is infested by robbers. I would like to fight these guys, actually. So let's see what we can do about them. Uh, this might be... Uh, we might we might do okay. I mean, we outnumber the opponent so dramatically thanks to the amount of farmers that we have on our side right here. But I'm hopeful... Oh, wait a minute. These guys actually have shields. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. These guys actually have shields and they actually have decent armor. Oh my. Oh my. This is not... Oh, oh, it might actually go quite well if all our farmers start chucking stones at them and actually hit them with massive amounts of damage. I think we might actually be able to do something here. Okay, come on. Uh, okay, oh dear. Oh, oh, we're actually doing quite nicely. We're doing quite nicely so far. I'm, I'm very surprised, actually. I guess it's because the robbers are all kitted out, or most of them are kitted out with daggers and spears. And they're not that effective, you know. We know that. They are not that effective. So I'm very happy that we had a huge amount of people in our favor here, because otherwise it would have been pretty bad, but there you go, we actually knocked a couple of them unconscious as well, which is really good, as you can see my stamina is now tired, that is a big problem in the future, don't worry about that, that's going to be very difficult, okay, so I can technically take some stuff from them, but I think I'm going to say no for the moment, oh, they don't actually even have anything in their supplies here, which is a bit of a, a bit of a shame, but oh well, not a big deal. Not a big deal. I'm just going to continue going to some villages here. Uh, oh, we got some got some veteran renegades. These guys might be slightly difficult. And that's also another thing that you've got to remember about Viking Conquest is that units, even the most basic ones, will take a big amount of time to level up. And I'm not entirely sure why that would be, but I guess it's just because the lower tier units are kind of decent and they're a little bit better than the standard recruit that you're usually going to get at this stage in the game but i guess it's also because if i eventually at some point hopefully soon gain 150 renown then i will be able to start recruiting those really really powerful sort of mid to high tier units from taverns and that's going to be super good for us but as it stands right now Obviously not able to do that. Not just yet, at the very least. Okay, so let's have a look and see if we can maybe do something here. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Okay, uh, yeah, unfortunately, my forces have already killed that guy over there, which is actually kind of a shame because... Viking Conquest actually uses the same looting principle as Pendor. And I have explained this in the Pendor series, but I'm going to explain it again here. So, what happens is, let's say you had nine looters and one highwayman, and you killed, you know, all of the looters first, then you would just get basically peasant loot. But if you kill the high tier unit first, then you gain much better loot. So I'm thinking that I will take first claim on the loot. Mm. Going to take first claim on the loot and we'll see what we can get. Yeah, there you go. That paid off. That paid off very, very nicely indeed. Look at that. We're actually getting a really nice helmet here. We only lost two morale. And look at this. We actually do get a couple of javelins here as well. These things are... Are they that good? Are they that good? I'm not entirely sure, but I am going to be using them nevertheless because I think it would be quite nice to see how they go for us. They might actually go quite nicely, you know, and uh, give us a little bit of a ranged solution of some kind. Oh, we did actually lose 19 morale total. Uh, yeah, because I could have actually... Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, so if you do select that option like I did just now, basically what you can do is you can take whatever you want 
but it's a good idea to leave some of the loot behind because then it will reduce the amount of morale that you end up losing. At least that, that's what I've come to expect from that. So that is, yeah, I, I made a bit of an error there, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad because we still, have, oh, we actually have low morale. Are you serious? <laughs> uh, oh, well, that's not too bad, I suppose. Anyway, we can actually give Brunhild something nice now. So I guess I'm going to give her, well, I'm going to give her a shield at the very least. The shield is going to be very helpful for her. And does she have thrown weapon proficiency? Not in entirely sure about that. I'm going to give her one of these wooden sticks because I personally feel like the knife is not that good. Does she have thrown weapon proficiency? She does have a little bit of it. So why not? Let's give her some of these skirmish javelins. She is really good, by the way. I mean, you've seen her stats in the previous episode. She is really, really good. Very happy to see that. Okay, so, oh, these guys might actually be kind of difficult. Hmm... I could pay them. How much? Uh, 600. Yeah, why not? Why not? We'll just pay them because I... Uh, they have 10. These guys are pretty hard, I think. Yeah, I think they might be pretty hard. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm happy to pay them. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. As long as we can escape without having any disaster happen, any catastrophe happen, then that would be great. So I'm just going to go to KCL right here and see if I can maybe... Yeah, the wool is, is pretty expensive. So I'm just going to sell everything else that we can. There we go. All right. That's pretty good. Now let's go into the tavern here as well as a Finn Archer, Traveler. Uh, do the Travelers actually do anything right here? Ah, uh, yeah. Could you spread some rumors while traveling? Oh, yeah. So basically you can just, you know, start to spread rumors and things like that. Personally, I don't really want to do anything here. Uh, so I'm just going to say no. But you can do that if you so desire to uh, sow some discord amongst the uh, potential enemies of yours, which is pretty cool. Anyway, I'm just going to wait here for some time and we'll see if there's another tournament going on. Uh, there seems to be actually... So oh, hello. Hmm. I might like to go in here. Uh, I'd like to fight the Vikings, maybe? Do you think that's going to work? Let's actually have a look and see what happens. Hmm. I'm a bit worried about this. Do you think I can do that? No. You know what? You know what? I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. I, I don't really want to take that kind of chance, especially in an Iron Man challenge where I could just die and that's going to be it. So I'm going to go, about, go, go over to Brusiniog right here. That's not how you say it, but that's the best I, I have. So we are going to try to get over there. So I need to go to Dublin and then take a ship down to Ke Cardiff, which is basically what that is. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. Ah, now we have reached Dublin. And the best thing that I can do right here is sell some of my prisoners so that's exactly what i'm going to do 160 wow really 169 that's kind of awful ah helgi is here he is a companion not entirely sure how much he's going to be is he going to be free no 300 okay yeah sure join me i don't know whether he has a problem with brunhild but if he does have a problem with her then we will we will kick him out immediately because she's just so good that i really don't want to let him go uh well let her go shall we say haha <laughs> Anyway, we're going to travel to another port, and that will be uh, Cardiff. There we go. All right, so I landed in Cardiff, and I made my way over to Brasiniog, and unfortunately, there is no competition going on there. Apparently, I was just too slow, too late, whatever you want to say. However, I have been very lucky in acquiring more wool, and we are going to be taking all of this wool over to Scandinavian territory relatively soon, but there is another competition going on here and I would like to participate because of course we need to take every opportunity we can get to make some cash. I won't be showing all of this, I'll just show the first round and maybe the maybe the last two or something like that, but uh, yeah, we're gonna do absolutely fine here. I've already gotten through basically, so I don't even need to kill anything else. 
All right, so we have a one versus one here. This is just tier three in the tournament, but I thought this was quite unusual to get a one versus one so early on. So I thought, hey, why not? Let's uh, let's show this, you know? <laughs> wow, he got murdered. All right, so here's tier five of the tournament. Two teams with two fighters each. Let's see what we get. Okay, we've got an axe and we have a uh, ally with a spear. All right, well, that, should, that shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, do, the, do the enemies have any thrown weapons? I don't think so. All right, not too bad. They do have a spear. Okay, I've got to be a bit careful here because apparently my ally is not doing the best of jobs. Oh, never mind. Fantastic. All right. So it seems like we're actually going to be fighting a champion fighter here, which is going to be uh, kind of painful. But we'll try it. Okay, we've got an axe. And what does he have? Doesn't seem like he has thrown weapons. He has a spear. Oh, okay. Spears have actually been doing a lot of damage to me recently. I have taken 51 damage twice in this tournament and lived to tell about it, amazingly enough. But uh, yeah, they, they actually know how to use them quite quite well in this mod. So that's, that's definitely something to be a bit careful of. Anyway, there you go. We are victorious once again and uh, someone actually asked me why i'm not going into the lord's hall and talking to the ladies to uh, potentially court them and well one of the main reasons why i won't go in to do that is because there aren't any unfortunately as you can see right here i actually attempted to do so and uh, it doesn't look as though they have anyone there at the moment anyway we have five thousand in cash and I think the best thing we can do right now is probably go over to Scandinavian territory and do some trading. So I have just arrived at Boar Grove. I actually wanted to go over to Scandinavia to uh, obviously sell all of the wool that I have. But I thought to myself, okay, we're going to have to get some better armor. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to acquire it here. So you arrive at a deep forest and we're going to be uh, making our way through... I do have a shield, I do have thrown weapons, I should be able to use them to good effect. I can't remember this event, uh, but I, as far as I'm aware, we are going to be attacked. As you can see, there is actually an enemy in the distance. I'm hopeful that we are not going to be attacked by multiple opponents. It looks as though there's just one. He has a thrown weapon as well. What? He's terrible with it. What is he doing? I have no idea, but yeah, there you go, we actually hit him. Okay, come on now. Destroy his shield. Ah, oh, no. Unlucky, unlucky. Okay, I was really hoping that we'd be able to destroy his shield. Okay, yes. Nice hit, nice hit. Oh, there you go. You're dead. You're dead. That was actually much easier than anticipated. Okay, uh... Ooh, he's got a nice shield too. Hmm. Very nice. Okay, you have beaten the old hero, so uh, begin. So begins your journey into legend. There you go. Okay, so we do actually now have a fantastic, much better than what I was wearing, fantastic helm, and also this, which is heavy armor. Oh yeah. Now that unfortunately is going to give us a uh, another penalty for our skills. So if you take a look here, we now have six in power throw rather than seven, which is what we had previously. And my athletic skill has gone to, well, nothing. It's literally nothing right now. So I have, I literally had six and now I have one. So I'm basically like a kind of like a walking, walking tank now kind of thing. I can still die very quickly, but yeah, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed to be honest. I actually would, would, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to keep it enabled, you see. I'm going to have to keep all these settings enabled unless the overwhelming majority of you decide, hey, you know what, this is kind of annoying. You know, I'm not going to change anything unless that happens. So I'm going to go for some more Power Strike, to be honest. I think some more Power Strike would definitely help us out. And uh, let's go for some more Power Throw. Why not? Because, well, we kind of need it. And I think it would be kind of nice to do that. So let's do that. And there we go. All right, maybe I should have done more riding skill. Hmm. Oh, now I think I may have made a mistake. Oh, well, never mind. I think Iron Flesh is pretty decent, considering I now have some better armor, and we're going to be able to survive more than two hits. At least I hope so. All right, so we've already arrived in Scandinavia, and as you can see, I've only sold three. 
three pieces of wool already and you can see how much money we are actually going to be making so there's one thing that i want to do here i i should probably take jewelry and sell it in tunsberg question mark i think that might be the best way to go because we are theoretically trading some cash here i'm wondering whether i can actually do the same yes i can i can do the same in the other in the other places as well which is fantastic so we're just going to continue doing that there we go and we can do this as well. There we are. That's nice too. What kind of weapon do they have right there? That's well, not too bad, but the reach is not exactly great. So yeah, otherwise, is there anything else that I can actually use here? Oh, a meek horse. Yeah, probably not the best. I'm looking for a heavy, heavy horse of some kind because heavy usually gives you a little bit of extra armor and I very much appreciate that. So what we want to do now is assess local prices. Brunhild is going to be able to do that with utmost efficiency. And you can see here, buying wine here and selling it at this place gives us a, a massive profit of 600. Wow, that's crazy. So we're gonna do that. As you can see, it's gonna cost us 800, but don't worry, look at this. I can just trade some wool and we can reduce the amount of money by such a significant amount. I won't be able to sell any more wool here because it is going to take us over the limit and that's not particularly good. So, yeah, that's fine for, fine with me, though. Uh, Sailor. Ooh, Agathanos is here. And also this guy. Uh, is this... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We might be able to get this guy. Yes, 300, join me. And Agathanos, I think he's an engineer. And he joins for free. I'm sure we're, st we're going to start having some problems with companions complaining about each other. But I hope not, because these guys, uh, I think, could turn into some really, really good units. I think this guy is really powerful, actually. Oh, yeah, I was correct. He is insane. Look at this. Seven Iron Flash, seven Power Strike, seven Power Throw. He also has amazing amounts of Weapon Master and Weapon Maintenance, as well as Athletics and Riding Skill. He can turn into, literally, the most amazing vassal. He's got great Engineer. He's got amazing Leadership. Wow. Wow. This guy for 300. This guy was literally 300. I can't believe it. Let's give him this helmet. He's going to be amazing. Yeah, he's going to be really good. Or at least I hope so. Anyway, we now have 13,600 cash. And the best thing that we can do right now is go all the way back over to... Uh, where is it? Ah, uh, uh, there. There it is. Oh, yes, that's a relatively far distance, isn't it? Anyway, I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. Next time, we might actually have enough money to be able to buy our own ship and then go to battle against some seafaring Vikings. I don't know whether we're going to be able to pull that off, but maybe we'll try it out. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.